Uh, hi everyone and welcome back uh, to this series of uh, solving PEO technical exam. Uh, and this exam is the A5, the electrical A5, which is an electronics course. And here is our first uh, MOSFET question. Now, this question is about DC bias of a MOSFET. And we have covered the DC bias of a diode and for the BGT uh, transistor. This now for the MOSFET. But before we solve the question, let's just have some background. Now, the MOSFET is basically a three terminal device. We have the gate, we have the drain, and we have the source. And the MOSFET is different than the BGT. It is a voltage driven, not a current driven. So basically here, you have to have a certain voltage VGS has to be greater than certain threshold voltage, then a channel would be formed and a current IDS or ID sometimes for short will go through the, the transistor. Here in the BGT, if you remember, it's a current driven. So it is based on IB. IB is the one that is responsible to bias the transistor. Here is the voltage. And here the current IG is basically equal to zero. So the power consumption of the transistor is much less than the BGT, which gave it an advantage over the BGT transistor. Now, there are two different types here, the B-channel and the N-channel, as we have in the BGT, the NPN and PNB. And similarly, they are just the opposite to each other. Now, the MOSFET has three regions of operations. We learned that the diode has two regions, the uh, forward and the reverse bias, the transistor, has also the active region, the saturation, the cutoff region. Here also we have similar things. We have three regions, the ohmic, or sometimes called the triodic uh, region, saturation, and the cutoff. Now, this is the characteristic of the VDS. VDS is this voltage, VDS, uh, versus ID or IDS, the current that goes through from the drain to the, to the source, at different VGS voltage levels. Okay. So that is basically the biasing of the transistor and where the transistor is biased. Is it in the ohmic region, saturation, or in the cutoff region? Now, how to analyze the MOSFET in DC circuit? First thing that we have to assume certain region. Like what we did in the diode, we assume that the diode is either a forward bias or a reverse bias. Same thing for the BGT transistor. And you try to make as much as we can, an educated guess based on the information we have. Okay? And then here, this is something different now in the MOSFET. We have to enforce equality conditions. So there are, depending on what is the region you assumed, you have to enforce this in your equations or in your analysis. So if it's a cutoff, IDS is equal to zero. It is ohmic or triode region, you assume that the IDS is equal to certain constant, for short, sometimes we call it K. These are basically the physical parameters of the MOSFET, capacitance, mobility, and dimension, times VGS, the voltage between the gate to the source, minus the threshold value that you have to exceed, times VDS minus one half VDS squared. So this is exact, these two formulas are exactly the same. Or saturation region, again, you have to enforce these uh, equalities. Now, here we have lambda. Lambda, you will see that most of the time is equal to zero. So the equation will be, be equal to this. And this is your, basically, your constant constant. Now, you analyze, you enforce this quality, you solve. Now, once you solve, you have to find the, the voltages. Now here, to find the voltage, first you have to find the current, ID. IG is equal to zero, so ID is the same. The current that goes from drain to the source is the same current. So this way I call it sometimes IDS. And then we have to find the three voltages, VGS, VDS, and uh, VDG. You need to find VGS and VDS. Using KVL, you can find the third voltage. So you have to find the current, ID, and VGS and VDS. Why? To see now the following inequalities. You have to check after you solve the problem, you have to go back and check and verify 
does my transistor, my MOSFET transistor, actually in the region I assumed or not? So if I assume the cutoff region, then your VGS has to be less than the threshold voltage VT. If it's an MOS and if it's PMOS, it is the opposite. And same as I mentioned for the NPN and PNP, the N and the PMOS, they are just opposite to each other. Now, if I assume that it's a triad or ohmic region, then there are two conditions you have to uh, check. First, VGS now has to be more than the threshold if it's an NMOS, but not that only, only, and VGS has to be less than VGS minus, minus VT. PMOS is the opposite. If you assume it's a saturation region, again, VGS has to be greater than the threshold. So, VGS greater than the threshold is common between these two regions. This is why we need another condition, which is here VDS has to be more than VGS minus the threshold, threshold voltage. If, if your assumption was not correct, then you have to redo the problem having another assumption. Now let's go and see the question. Question here, this is connected as an amplifier. So you have a VN here, but here we want to do the DC analysis. We want to find all the voltages at all nodes and the current through the branches, okay? So we'll do DC bias, and when we do the DC bias, as we know, in DC bias, your capacitors, all the capacitors here, your C will be equal to an open circuit. So I have to redraw the circuit. This is an open circuit. This is an open circuit, and this is an open circuit, okay? Also, we are given the value of the resistors. And the threshold voltage that I have to check my VGS against has is one volt. My lambda is equal to zero, so this would become equal to, to zero. The VGT is given, and the constant K, the total K, is equal to one millivolt per uh, milliampere volt. Okay, so the first thing I need to redraw the circuit now, with, and removing all the capacitors because they became an open circuit. So I will have this circuit. So here my 10 volt. This is 6K. This is also 6K. This is my IDS, which is this current. And the same thing here, this is IDS. Why? Because the current IG is equal to zero. So the IDS is the same current here. The two is different than the BGT. Remember, we have IC, IB, and IE. Here, no, IG equal to zero, so as you have only one current in the transistor. And then we have here the other branch. And here, this is 10 volt. So this is 100 kilo, 100 kilo. So the first thing we want to find is your VG, the voltage between the gate, this is, this is the G, this is your drain, and this is your source. Between the gate to the ground, and this is very straightforward because we have here a 10 volt and the 100K and the 100K, they are in series, so we can apply voltage division. So your VG is equal to the 10 volt times the 100K divided by 100K plus 100K, which is one half. So this would give me five, five. Now, since five, this is a positive voltage, this is greater than zero then it is fair to assume that this is could be a saturation. So assume saturation. But again, this is just an assumption. Okay, now it's an educated guess because we most likely this is this uh, VGS is greater than the threshold voltage and this is conducting. So it could be tried, it could be saturation. So let's assume it is saturation region. Now, let me apply KVL here. Now, we need to find the VGS and the VDS to com compare our inequalities. So here, we will do KVL, or maybe here's clearer, okay? So this is your plus minus VGS, okay? So you have VGS plus IDS times the six kilo, minus VG equal to zero. So your VGS, this is the unknown, is equal to your VG, which is, we know it, which is five, minus IDS times the six kilo. 
Now here, this equation has two unknown, VGS and IVS. And I cannot have any other equation from the circuit without introducing other unknowns. So what I need to do, I have to use this equation. So your IDS is equal to one half K times VGS minus the threshold voltage, which is basically one minus one squared. So that is my equation. So I have IDS and VGS here. So I will substitute VGS here. This is number two. So substitute one and two. So my IDS will equal to one half. Now K is basically equal to one. So this is equal to one. K is equal to one. Now my VGS is equal to five minus I D S K times six K K and minus one all all square. Now your I D S here is you see we have only one equation and this equation is basically in uh, one unknown which is the I D S. Okay. So here we can just now one, one thing here about the units. Okay, so this is one milliamp. They are volt square. This is six thousand. So this will be canceling. So the six k becomes just equal to six. Now let me expand this equation here. And now remember we have to check across. Now we assume saturation. These are the two conditions I have to uh, to assume or to uh, to check after I finish solving the problem. Let me expand the equation. It will have 18 ID squared minus, or IDS minus 25 IDS plus eight equal to zero. So this is a quadratic equation, which is like uh, the solution for this equation will be I or like for example, X is equal to minus P plus minus root of B squared minus four AC divided by two A. A is the coefficient of the X, the square part. B is the coefficient of the X or the variable without the square and C is the constant. So my variable is not cos X, my variable is IDS, will equal to minus B, which is minus 25 plus minus minus 25 square minus four times 18 times eight divided by two times A, which is 18. Now here we will get two answers because plus minus. So we have here either point eight, nine milliamps or point five milliamps. Of course, we cannot have both. It has to be only one answer. So what we do, we need to select one and then proceed. So let's say IDS is equal to 0.89 milliamp. That is the answer I am selecting. Now, let me draw my, uh, let me just go back here and redraw my circuit here, okay? And I need to find my VS, okay? But let me draw the transistor here so that we understand what All what I need to find is my VS to the ground. Okay. Now, I, this is my IDS is known. This is my IDS is known. This is my VS to the ground. This is six kilo. So the voltage drop across the six kilo is your VS. So your VS equal to 0.89 times 10 to minus three times six times 10 to the power three and this will give me 5.34 volt, okay? Now, your VGS is equal to VG minus VS, and VG is five minus 5.34 is equal to minus 0.34. Now, we need to check this with the V threshold, which is one volt. Now, for the NMOS, 
BGS has to be greater than BP. But now here, BGS is actually less than BP, so wrong. So this is wrong answer. So this is cannot be, IDS cannot be 0.89. Now, can I say that it's not in saturation? Not yet. I have first to check the other answer, okay? So let me now go for the other answer and let me again here redraw the transistor so that you can follow up here for BS. This is your drain. This is your gate. Six kilo, six kilo here. So I want to put, now we'll, we'll go for the second assumption. My IDS, which is the current from the drain to the source is equal to 0.5 milliamps. So for this, my Vs will equal to, again, the current times the 6 kilo, 0.5, times 10 to minus 3, times 6, times 10 to power 3, which give it 3 volt. So my Vgs, okay, is equal to the 5, the Vg, minus the Vs, the 3, which is 2 volt, which is greater than 1 volt, which is the V threshold. So it's greater than V threshold. So this condition has been satisfied. Is it enough? No, because VG is greater than VP is applied for both the triode or omic region and the saturation. So we need to check the other conditions. So we need to find our VGS. So I need to find my VD here. Okay, so what is my VD, the voltage VD is the voltage from here to the ground. So, and here we have my VDD. So, VDD minus this voltage drop would give me my VD. So, my VD equal to the 10 volt, the supply voltage minus the current that we have, which is 0.5 times 10 to minus 3, my IDS, times the 6 kilo, and this would give me 7, 7 volt. So my VDS equal to VD minus VS, which is equal to seven minus three equal to four volt. And this four volt, now we need to check it. Is it larger than VGS minus VP or not? My VGS basically is equal to two. My VT is equal to one, so this is equal to one. And yes, VDS is more than one, then this condition is also satisfied. Then, yes, the transistor or the MOSFET, our MOSFET here is basically in, is in saturation. And all these voltage levels that we found, VD, VDS, VG, VGS, ID, we found everything here are all correct.